let's talk about the business side of music. Um, I, a lot of us get into business, the entertainment field, and because it's very glamified and it, it's, it's fun, but there's also a business side of it. What would you say to someone who's trying to get into the business, into music, but really don't have a clear insight as far as the business side? What should they do? Are there books that they should read? Should they go to seminars? Well, both of those things, okay. actually. But the main thing is, is just to make sure and read all your fine print. Okay. Whenever it is that you're going to sign anything, make sure. Because if you do have something, everybody wants a piece of it. That's true. That's so you true. have to make sure that uh, you're, not, you're not messing yourself up in any way. And also, once again, to not allow yourself to become discouraged mm -hmm. if, you, if, in fact, something does, bad does happen to you. Right. Guaranteed that in the music business or in most any business, you know, if you're not, in some cases, you know, some careful. people can come unscathed, but in most cases, everybody has scars. And, and it's true, and I think it's, it, what you said is a great point, reading the fine print. A lot of individuals, we look at contracts, we don't want to read it, we don't take the time to read it, and then we find ourselves in a lot of trouble. And also for our young people who want to get into music, I think that's very important for their parents to do that as well. Um, Gator, I know the holidays are coming, well, we just celebrated Thanksgiving, which is phenomenal. With Christmas coming, have you all ever thought about putting together a Christmas blues CD? Yeah, we, we thought about it, and uh, we're thinking about it. Now. Oh, good, you're still thinking about it, okay. <laughs> Matter of fact, we just started thinking about it again just now. <laughs> now, speaking of contracts and the business side, you know you're going to have to give me 50%, because I just reminded you of that. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a, there's a finder's fee, but I wasn't aware it was 50%. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty high now. <laughs> so have you thought of any songs that you would put on your Christmas CD? I think we'd have to make them, wouldn't we? Grandma got run over by a reindeer. <laughs> no, we wouldn't want to do that. Okay. <laughs> we can't so. do that. <laughs> what are some holiday traditions that you have with Christmas coming up that you, your family uh, participate in every year? Well, our, our family has gotten rather small okay. uh, due to attrition. We've had a number of people that have gone on to their reward. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we find ourselves being very intimate, very, very small, you know, not not nearly the same traditions that we had when there was a whole lot of people involved, okay. Okay. but we do our best to try to, you know, to uh, try to adjust okay. to the situation, I guess, at best. But, you know, at, like anything else, there is a huge adjustment when you don't have certain people around That's anymore. true. That's true. And what about you, Gator? Do you have any traditions for Christmas that you celebrate with your family? Yeah, we, we, we uh, eat. <laughs> Eat a lot Everyone of food. Eat lots a lot of food. food. Now, do you cook? Yes. Do we you? Both I was so looking we, for you to say no. That's the only thing. We pretty much fight over who's cooking what, but we don't fight. We just, It's, it's all in good fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. What's one of your favorite dishes you like to prepare for Christmas? Oh, dirty rice. Wow, I love that. Very good. Now, um, with the Christmas CD and, and talking about the holiday spirit, what would you want your... Um, fans, I should say, to really take from your CD that, that's coming out mid-January, what would you want for them to take away from your music? Well, I would have to say, personally, I would have to say that we have to make sure that even as we get older, mm -hmm. we have to make sure that we still have to follow our dreams regardless. Mm -hmm. You know, so many of the times we look at ourselves in the mirror and we say, we're too old to do this. Well, Gator and I are living proof right now that you're not too old to do anything that you want to do. Sure, exactly. you know, you, got, you may have some infirmities, you may have some sickness, you may have problems and everything, but the determination that you have in your own will to get things done right. is what really will separate you from being a success or a failure. And that's true, and that's why I love to do the show, because it gives us an idea of... Um, what it is about, what living your dream is all about every time I have a guest on the show. Because as you said, um, we should never look at our age. We should always look at the, this chance that we have to live each day to its fullest, to live each day and enjoy each day and to go out and live our dreams. So thank you so much for saying that. You bet. Really appreciate that. Gator, um, whenever you perform, I, I see you playing the guitar. Mm -hmm. How long have you been playing the guitar? I've been playing the guitar for, um, well, 10 and a half till now. Yeah, 45 32, years. 45 32 years. years old yeah. now. Really? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> of course you are. Yeah. Now, you play the harmonica and the guitar. Yeah. I, I love the harmonica. I was laughing off set before the show started that I, I have blown into one before, and it's just like a lot of hot air, and that's basically it. 
But when you blow into it and you, you perform, it's very clear, it's very crisp. Where did that skill come from? Did you teach yourself? No, actually, well, yeah, I guess I did, but my, my, grand, my, great, great, grand, or my great grandfather was a harmonica player. Okay. And he was, uh, he was a sharecropper in uh, Waxahachie, and okay. they used to uh, pick cotton and whatnot for the people. And, and, uh, uh, and I was five years old. I was sitting at the porch, on the porch, and he gave me a harmonica, uh-huh. and he said, boy, he says, either you can play this or you can't. If you can't play it, give it give back it to back. <laughs> Don't waste his time, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. And you learn quickly. Well, I hope. <laughs> Well, it's good to be thrown into the water like that. It's such a pleasure to sit down with you for an interview.